Welcome to the Hawks Nest. We are live on the Hawks Sports Network, opening up the 2019 season with some OCAA volleyball. The Humber Hawks taking on the visiting Sheridan Bruins, the old rivalry matchup. My name is Matt Hamill, and with me is my broadcast partner, Kyle Dalton. Kyle, it's been a long break. The Humber Hawks haven't played a game since December 6th. How do you think they're going to open up the season here? or the second half of the season, rather. Well, with the unofficial second half of the season beginning, as you mentioned today, it's good to start at home when you're coming out back from a long break. So see how Humber play Sheridan coming in here, losers of four in a row. They had a tough, or a good start to the season, I should say, and then kind of a slumping here. They'll look to rebound here at the second half of the season. Look out for a key stat here today. Humber is third in kills per set, and Sheridan is last when it comes to blocks per set. So we'll see if guys like Colin Skeins and John Obi can really take advantage of that stat. Kyle, we don't have our sideline reporter, Danielle Dupuy, today. A little extra pressure on you and I. Thunder and lightning, as people have been calling us. We got the big name, second half, second half of the season beginning here today. Hawks with their home blacks, jerseys. Sheridan wearing the darker blues. Kyle, the Hawks are hosting the OCAA championship later this year and are going to want to pave the easiest way possible to that championship. They've already suffered one loss to the number one nationally ranked Fanshawe Falcons and obviously going to want to just have as good a season as possible second half of the season. Enter into the playoffs sitting pretty. You mentioned they only have that one loss versus Fanshawe, but the, all the other teams they've really taken advantage of the other team's struggles. Shared in here today. The Humber Hawks have already played them. They beat them in straight sets in Sheridan. And that started that four-game losing streak for Sheridan. They're going to try to end it here. Yeah, four-game losing streak. You got to think that long break, maybe looking to rebound and really turn things around. Just get a good look at the Hawks nest here. Good crowd for a Thursday night. You know, the old rivalry always brings out the fans, right, Kyle? It always does, Sheridan. Pretty close to here, so... Always get a good rivalry, good fans, like you said. So should be a good one here today. And we'll be right back after the Humber player introductions. taking on the three and six Sheridan Bruins to try and get that effort started. And you know Sheridan's gonna wanna come in here, upset this team. Sheridan three and six on the season so far. Like we mentioned, that four game losing streak looking to end it here tonight at the Hawks Nest. 
Sheridan going to start things off with the serve. Eric Chen. And Chen will put it long and really just hand that first point of the game right to Humber. Not the start Sheridan was looking for there. Humber will definitely take it. Now Jake Gomes will begin it for the Hawks. Gomes from Oakville, Ontario. Real creative player when he's up at the net. Here he is at the serve line. Ooh. Soft touch from the Bruins. Good block. That time, Kamen tries to beat the block over top, but sends it long. Like Colin Skeens there, and Jake Gomes ran into each other there for a second. Eventually, Sheridan picked up the point. We're tied up at one. Colin, Spain, Colin Skeens has been getting a lot of action as John Obi has been coming back from a hand injury. Yeah, they don't want to push John Obi back fully, trying to get him back in once in a while. It's one of those nagging injuries. You've seen him having it taped up, really just having a hard time fully recovering. But Obi is an exciting player, and I'm sure we'll see him get into the game here. Another look. Came and serve, just an absolute dart. 3 1, Hawks. That time the serve got away from him, Kyle, right yeah, to the net. Right to the net, puts his hand up. My bad. As the Bruins now will get the serve. 3 2, Hawks lead. Point for the Hawks. Another fault there for Sheridan. Kyle, with no Danielle Dupuis, who's going to interview the player of the game on the sidelines? Are you up for that, that job? Might have to go over after the game. We'll see what happens. Some camera time. Skeins with the serve. And now he pops it up to Gomes. Free ball here for Sheridan. Great block by Blakey Lopez. Kyle haven't had a chance to see Hilario really tee one up. Number eight for the Hawks is just a dynamite. Number nine, a great hitter. Sheridan just dumps it over. Right on command, there there's is. Hilario. You wanted it, you got it, Matty. Hilario <laughs> coming up big. 6-2 Hawks. Take another look. Good set up there. Now, the best move when Hilario hits it is just get out of the way. That time, the shot makes it through the block of the Hawks. Gomes trying to keep that alive. Couldn't do it. Blakey there as well. Yeah. Sheridan will now serve. Blakey charged with the lift. And that serve, a little too much English on it. Lands out of bounds. And that's not something new for Sheridan. That's another error already the third of this game. They're third in the league in service errors with 138. So they're used to that. Lario puts it in play. And he keeps it alive here. There's Sadiku with an absolute smash. And he came right down on that. No chance for the Bruins defenders on that one. Hawks. Up by five, it's 8-3. Flario with a serve. And it's in play. At the net now for the Bruins, just a soft touch. Whistle blown here. Might have a net violation, KD. And that's what it looks like on Sheridan. So Humber will get the point. Flario now serving. Kyle, the Humber Hawks women's team won their game just two hours ago. Three straight sets, and the men's team looking to do the same. Another fault there from Sheridan too long. As Humber picks up the point, their largest lead right now is growing. It's seven. Hawks lead 10-3, and Hilario continues to serve. And what a message to send early in the game. The Hawks jump up to a seven-point lead 
just cruising along right off the get-go. And if you're head coach Frank Pento, you're going to hope that your Sheridan Bruins can kind of pull together. Obviously not the start to the season that they were looking for, and you don't want things to go from bad to worse. They're on the four-game losing streak. Frank Pento, head coach of the Sheridan Bruins, will call a timeout here, try to salvage this set as his team is down by eight. Hey there, Hawks fans. It is once again time to draw for the best seats in the house. Brought to you by Student Government. Hawks Nation is the official varsity fan club of the Humber Hawks. Kyle, did you get your popcorn from the Hawks Nation booth today? I did. It was a little bit salty, but sometimes you can uh, you can do that, you know? You know, the way I see it, popcorn can never be too buttery. I meant salt. I said salty. Well, it's a salty butter flavor packet, it? I believe. Okay. Yes. Okay. It was good. It satisfied my quench. So. Can't ask for anything more, right, Maddie? Here on this Thursday evening. Lovely. Home game here, starting off 2019. A little bit of volleyball. Kyle, it's been a long time since we've done a game together. Happy to be back in the broadcast booth it's with good you. Good to be back, good to be back. Not, nothing better here than this Humber versus Sheridan first game back of the year. Gotta love the, yeah, whoever made the schedule. Tip of the cap. Starting 2019 off hot. Here's Hilario with the serve. Be a service ace for Pilario, finding that back corner. Shared it, let it go. Hawks grow their lead, coming out of the timeout. Yeah, the Hawks get fired up. And Hilario looking to extend this to a double digit lead. Score here is 12 to 3. Hilario hits the net. Hawks kind of scrambling here, and then Cayman hits it long. Cayman Wilkins, number zero for the Hawks. Really just an outstanding player. Kind of Mr. Everything, right? Always going to keep the ball alive, put it in play. Much like his sister Kyla Wilkins does for the women's team. Gomes with a tricky set. Blakey smashes it off a Sheridan player, but the Bruins keep it alive here. Wow, came in, came in and got everything on that hit, but just a hair too long. Here's the second look. Just long there, but that play before that actually went off the head of the Sheridan Bruden player. Kept it alive, though. Eventually ended up with a point. And another service error from the Bruins. Hawks get the point right back. That was Richard Davids. Fourth-year player with a white bandana on. For all you radio listeners, over on 96.9. Radio Humber. Ooh, Sadiku miss hit that one right away. Didn't like the way it came off, and that serve is out of bounds. Both teams exchanging faults here. 13-6 Hawks lead early in this one in the first set. Hawks may be letting this big lead kind of enable them to loosen up a bit here. They were almost up by as much as 10. Ooh, kept alive. Good serve by the Bruins. Not a play there from Sadiku. Good block. We're here in set number one. The score is 13 to 6. And the Bruins hit it into the net. And it's those airs right there from the Bruins that have really cost them so far on this losing streak. The mental mistakes that they make have really cost them so far on this four-game losing streak. Here's Andrew Blakey. Used to be on the Humber baseball team as well. Looks like it's going to be a lift here against Sheridan. No, I believe the old double touch they're calling, the Kyle. Touch. Tell you what, you got to love the calls in volleyball, the hand signals by the officials. My absolute favorite. Blakey back at the service line. Bruins with a chance here. Miss hit. Net. Yeah, right into the net. That's Andrew Cianci. Yeah, 
in play. Wow, kept alive by Hilario. Now here's Kamen. A nice hit. Fielded by the Bruins, who would just tap it over. Should get a good chance for Colin Skeens. No. Nope. Kept alive. And again, the Bruins hit it into the net. And between those misplays at the net and from the service line, the Bruins just cannot afford to be handing over points to the Hawks. And that point all happened with a big dig from Hilario eventually. The rally kept going, and the air, like you said, from the Bruins. Here's head coach Wayne Wilkins. This guy's won a few ball games, Kyle. Just a few, maybe. Veteran coach. It's keeping the intensity up here. 25th year on this team. Another misplay up at the net by the Bruins. And we've seen a lot of those errors so far by the Bruins. They're fifth in the league in errors with 139 coming into this game. As for the Hawks, third and last when it comes to air, so it just shows how efficient both these teams are. Hawks not letting anything go as they lead 18-6, a timeout for the Bruins. The Hawks' final game of 2018 was against the Conestoga Condors here at home. And we saw a good effort from the Hawks, winning in three straight sets, and really business as usual. Hawks up by 12 right now, and just rolling along here as we hang out in the timeout. Haven't really seen either team get settled here. Kind of been a frantic start to the game, as you would expect after such a long break. A yeah, long break for both these teams. For the Hawks, though, coming at home, playing the first home game of the season after a long break, like you said, it's good to have that home game, have the home crowd on your side. So the Bruins, they're trying to end this four-game losing streak. The Hawks did have an opportunity to get some preseason play, if you want to call it that, during the holiday break. They were at the York University Volleyball Invitational, winning two of one game, two out of three games, rather. They played York, Queens, and Nipissing, dropping that final game to Nipissing. Oh, pretty good, Kyle. They play some... University teams get a good look at the OUA competition. Has some good experience there for this Hawk side. We get another serve from Blakey. Wow, how many serves has that been from Blakey? He is just owning the service line right now. Wow. Hilario with an absolute kill shot, but a good block by the Bruins will award them the point. Yeah, they are known for their blocking. Comes up there against Hilario. You don't usually see that too often when it comes to Hilario. No, again, the reflex when Hilario goes up is just get out of the way. But that time, the Bruins <laughs> do a great job of getting in front of it. How about that? Another big block by the Bruins. Back-to-back -back points. The bench from the Bruins liking that one. And we've seen that front line really miss hit a lot for the Bruins and just hit it into the net, handing over points to the Hawks. But right now, they're really coming alive defensively. And a service ace from the Bruins. Yeah, three straight points now for the Bruins coming out of that timeout. You gotta like that if you're head coach Frank Pento. Good look at the Hawks bench. They're up by 10. Now the Hawks will eclipse the 20 point mark with that service error. Jake Gomes, who is just a dynamite server. Put a lot of English on that one and goes into the net. Yeah, didn't get the height he wanted. Hawks get the point right back. It's 20-10 here in the first set. Great camera shot of Coach Wilkins calling out the play. Hilario. You know, he's one of those guys, might be really fun to watch, or the most fun to watch, rather. I mean, we talked early in the season about John Obi and how dynamic he was in the front line, but Hilario has really just come alive as the season has gone on. And really 
become a fan favorite. Good job by the Bruins to keep it alive here. And Radio Humber's own Colin Skeins. A little bit of a miss hit there, but he'll take it for sure. Picks up the point. Hawks three points away. Well, you say miss hit, I say very strategically placed shot. Score here, Kyle, is 22 to 11. Hawks are just inching towards a pretty decisive first set victory. Even closer now with that service error by the Bruins. Coming in for the number one stand, the servant number two. Edward. Edward Lai comes into the game here. Third year player. Try to finish off this set. Two points away. Oop. Right into the net. And the Hawks. Just kind of trading miss hits right now with the Bruins. Sadiku diving into the Hawks bench, keeping it alive. And the Hawks are going to scramble now. Good hit from Sadiku. Just out of the reach of Kamen Wilkins. What a job there from Sadiku to keep that ball alive twice. Eventually, the Bruins ended up with the point. Got to like that effort diving into the bench. And not a great hit on the serve. Hawks are within one. Serving the Hawks is number nine. Who else? Rafael Hilario. Number nine for the Hawks. First year player from Rio de Janeiro. And how about that? The Hawks will take that and win set number one by a score of 25 to 13. And it was all about the errors from Sheridan. The Hawks took advantage of some miscues from the Bruins. A lot of errors came from the Bruins side. Like you said, the Hawks pick up the set particularly easily at this point. Look for a back, bounce back performance in that second set by the Bruins. We'll see how the Hawks handle that. Yeah, exactly the way you want to start the, the 2019 part of the season. If you're the Humber Hawks, a very convincing first set victory. And there we get a good look at the West Division standings. The Hawks dropping that one game to the number one nationally ranked Fanshawe Falcons. And Kyle, we saw that game. That's just a real tough matchup. That is a really strong Falcon team. Yeah, the, the number one team for a reason. They're on top of that standings. 9-0 Humber. We'll see them again in Fanshawe later on in the season, which will be another good test for them. But here we got a good one against Sheridan. They have St. Clair on Saturday here at home one, again. So a couple teams at the bottom of the standings that you really want to take advantage, advantage of when it comes to the games. I'll tell you what, that matchup against St. Clair on Saturday here in the Hawks' nest will be live on the Hawks Sports Network. Kind of interesting because, I mean, if you take the attention away from the men's game, it's that women's team, St. Clair Saints, that ended the 150-plus win streak of the Hawks. And a bit of bad blood there, I would imagine. And, I mean, it's not like the Saints kind of squeaked away with the victory. They beat Humber in three straight sets. And that should be a very interesting rematch here at home for the Hawks. That'd be a couple good ones as well. The women's game coming up first and then the men's after. So it should be two good games like you said. Maybe a redemption factor for the women's team as well. Kyle, if you're the head coach of the Sheridan Bruins, Frank Pento, just role play for a second here. What are you telling your Bruins team in this huddle? I think you really just have to settle down. They came up here a little bit anxious, not really sure what the game plan was, but a lot of errors. We saw a lot of errors, a lot of service errors, even some errors from the front end couple of kills there. So I think if they clean up their game, they might have a better shot here in the second and third set. Really, that set got away from them as the Hawks took advantage of it from the very beginning. But you did see that front line kind of come alive with some big blocks and yeah, get there, energized, a couple there, service aces. There was a couple times where you thought, oh, maybe they were going to switch things up. 
couple points in a row, and then the Hawks eventually got on a roll and took advantage of the set and eventually took it 25-13, as you can see on your screen. Yeah, Humber seemingly right away took a seven-point lead, and once you have that kind of cushion, we just don't see teams overcome that, yeah. at least not yet. It'll be interesting to see how Sheridan comes out of that rough first set. Hawks dominating that first set. We'll see how they come out in the second set. See if they have that same sort of energy that they had throughout the first set of this one. Yeah, we had the volleyball doubleheader tonight. More volleyball on Saturday. And then, Kyle, the focus switches to varsity basketball. Here's Jake Gomes starting off set number two. Wow. And that <laughs> service ace is just an absolute laser beam and careens over to the free popcorn area. Big time serve there from number 13, Jake Gomes, starting things off here in, second, in the second set. And there's really two aspects of Jake Gomes' game that stand out to me. It's from the service line, as we just saw. Here he is again. Wow. Another. <laughs> Service ace from Oakville, Ontario's Jake Gomes. There must be something in that Oakville tap water. Just produces such good athletes. But also Jake Gomes at the front when he's by the net, he's so creative and really catches his opponents off guard. And it's amazing when you can not even necessarily use power, but just outwit your opponent. Gomes does that so well. utility factor that you're mentioning about Jake Gomes. The way he can play at both ends of the floor, and that's what you want to see the versatile player. Kyle, right away, a kind of a repeat of the first set. The Hawks jumping up to a quick 3-0 lead. And if the Bruins aren't careful, Hawks are just going to set up the way they do. Wow. Blocked up by the Bruins, but just on the Hawks' side for Kamen Wilkins to annihilate that one. Here's the replay. Yeah, no chance right to Kamen Wilkins. He's going to take advantage of that any day of the week. Hawks lead 4-0 here early in the second set. Another serve from Gomes. Wow. Tell you what, that was an outstanding play by the Bruins to keep that ball alive. And Hilario just has that one teed up and does what he does best, Kyle. Yeah, once he gets teed up, it's hard to stop. 5 nothing lead. We've seen Jake Gomes on this streak, and he continues it. And look who else is in that front line as Radio Humber's Colin Skeins has checked out. It's John Obi, number 17 at that front line. Keep an eye on him. Big block from Obi right on command, but that will go out of bounds, and Thankfully for the Bruins, will end that service run by Jake Gomes. You saw John Obi there taping up that left hand. It's been taped up for a while. Still not obviously 100%. Yeah, you could pay somebody's tuition with the amount of value and tape that's on Obi's hand. Wow, kept alive. Hilario, quick dump. Here's the Bruins. Wow. What a say, job that was there. a bit of an odd rally. Looked like Jake Gomes kept that alive. That was an excellent job to keep that one alive. Sheridan eventually came up with the point. Now they cut into this lead. It's three now, five, two Humber leads. A lot of spicy mustard on that serve, but that goes just a little too long. So the point goes to the Hawks. Here's Kamen Wilkins. Great hair and a great serve. Big block. Looked like Sadiku got most of that one. Smallest player on the front line comes up with a big block. Another look here. Into the net there from Wilkins. Sheridan cuts it to lead. It's now 4 7 3 Hawks lead.
Just lobbed over by the Bruins. Wow. Big shot from Obi. How high does he jump, Kyle? That's pretty high, but a good block there from the Bruins. Eventually, Sadiku will put it in with the kill. Yeah, John Obi jumps pretty high. Good job there from the Bruins wall. Block on John Obi. That guy can elevate. And he puts the serve in play. Tough shot at the net by the Bruins. Goes out of bounds. And we'll see Obi with another serve. Score here is 9-3 in favor of the Hawks here in set two. Hawks keep it alive here. Set up for Hilario. Really good block that time by Sheridan. Sheridan's not known for their blocking when it comes to the statistical factor of it. But they're coming up big with a few big blocks to stop the momentum of the Hawks offense here in this second set. Sadiku pops it up, and the Hawks just kind of clear it over. That was a pretty close one, but the officials are going to rule that one out of bounds. Kelsey coming in for the Hawks. First year player. With the serve, native of Rexdale, but playing right in his own barn. Bruins keep it alive here. Blakey with a great shot, set up nicely by Gomes. Second look. Big block there from Gomes, and Blakey eventually got the point. Rotation violation, which really rolls off the tongue well. The Hawks have really separated themselves from Sheridan here in this set. Already up 12-4. Here's a look at Sheridan's head coach. Frank Pento in his fourth year with the Bruins. That ball tipped right off of Jake Gomes' hand. So Sheridan will pick up the point here. That serve from Richard Davids didn't quite work out. The Hawks lead is now up to seven. Had to do some quick math there. 13 to five in favor of the Hawks. And another point for the Hawks. So Kyle, kind of a lot of what we saw in the first set, the Humber Hawks really just rolling along, establishing a quick lead and really just kind of enjoying a comfortable cushion. Yeah, it seems like once Sheridan starts getting a few points, then they give it right back with a couple of errors. So you see Jake Gomes there gets hit from the back from Sadiku's serve. Yeah, Sadiku had a serve in set number one that kind of got away from him. Having a bit of a tough time getting going back there. Wow, how about that shot from Kamen Wilkins? That's a big time there from Wilkins going up. Just an absolute smash. Picks up the point, Hawks. Grow their lead, the largest of this set. It's nine. Blakey Lopez never met a camera he didn't like. That time, just a little too strong on that serve. Point for the Bears. Certainly for the Bruins, number four, Aaron Too much sauce on that serve. Out of bounds. Point for Humber College. 
Gomes back at the service line just the way this set started. It's in play. Gomes keeps it alive. Ooh, the Hawks aren't able to scramble under it. That Kim going after it, just like you said. Couldn't get under it. And a good job by the Bruins to keep that strong serve from Jake Gomes alive. Eventually picking up the point. Second, Second look there. Half. Yeah, sorry, Kyle. No worries. 16-8. Thunder and Lightning back together again. Big hit by Wilkins. Too much on it. Score here is 16 to 9. In favor of the Birds. Wow, great serve. Kept alive by Humber. Net violation, point for the home team. Damon Wilkins, a couple solid plays during that rally, keeping the ball alive. Now he's serving with an eight-point lead. Kept alive, good dig there. And Gomes will have to just get it over. Good job by the Bruins with the quick setup. Kind of caught Humber off guard. Second look here. Yeah, Kim just couldn't get his hands under the ball. Just one of those real quick setups. Owen Liu checking into the game. For the Bruins, he will be serving now. Hawks are just living with this comfortable seven point cushion. Silva Ferreira with this shot. The Bruins try to answer back, but it is hit out of bounds. Now it's an eight point lead. Hawks up 18 10 here. The Bruins trying to make a little bit of a run here, try to get back in this set. Edward Lai coming in to serve here. Hawks seven points away from picking up this second set and going up 2 nothing here. Tough play for the Bruins. They'll just have to scoop it over. And now a free shot for the Hawks. Oh, wow. What a play there from Wilkins faking the kill and just dropping it in for the point. As we're going to get a late timeout here, 19-10. Bruins timeout. Kyle, just to preview that game against the St. Clair Saints on Saturday. Humber Hawks hopefully going to be going into that game with a 9-1 record. Right now, the Saints are similar to the Bruins with a 3-6 record. So for Humber, starting off 2019, two teams that realistically they'd like to think they can get a win. And that's really good to get the ball rolling and carry some positive momentum. Of course, they're hosting the provincial championships and you want the easiest path to those finals. And Kyle, only two teams from the OCAA are going to advance to the CCAA National Championship over in Red Deer, Alberta. Well, it's all about beating the teams that are lower than you, the teams that you're supposed to be. And it's tough to really think that Fanshawe isn't going to be one of those two teams to move on to the Nationals. So for Humber, you really got to think about that second spot and you know beating the teams that are under you. Teams like, obviously, Sheridan here today, St. Clair on Saturday. Redeemer is a team right under them in the standings. So picking up these points against the lower-end teams is obviously very important for the Humber Hawks. Redeemer, there's no doubt that's a... Very strong team. We saw them here in the nest in the first half of the season. Georgian College over in the East Division, they're eight and one. So definitely some stout competition they'll have to look out for. And the Seneca Sting over at seven and two. Be some good competition from both sides of the divisions here at Humber later on this season. K 
Kelsey puts the ball in play. Another air here for Sheridan. That ball's hit just a bit long. Humber, four points away, largest lead of this set. It's 21-11. Not what Sheridan was looking for coming out of that timeout. Hawks up by 10, make that 11. Silva Ferreira with a great play at the net and another timeout call by the Bruins. Not what Frank Pento, head coach of the Bruins, was looking for coming out of that timeout. So we'll see if he can draw up something, try to get his team back into the set, maybe grab some momentum that his team can carry over into the third set. You see him there talking to Eric Chen. Bruins trying to find their footing here. It's just been tough. The Hawks have just gotten all over them early and just kind of stuck with that lead. And a bit of a similar storyline here in set number two. And the score here is 22 to 11. And their Hawks, that is, are taking advantage of these Sheridan mistakes and these errors that they've been giving them. And that's what good teams do. They take advantage of teams that make errors a lot. So far, the Hawks have haven't let up so far in this one as they lead by 11. And we mentioned off the top of the broadcast, the Bruins are coming into today with a four game losing streak. And you had to wonder if they were coming into this game with a new year, new me type of attitude. But right now, having a tough time getting off on the good foot. As the Hawks are sitting pretty, just a couple points away from being up two sets to love. Great play there by Gomes. And that shows the athleticism there from Gomes. Able to do it on both sides of the floor. See here, good setup there from Blakey. Just kind of throws it and down. throw down from Gomes. Chen, good set. Big block by Jake. Free ball for Sheridan. Popped up. Good chance for the Bruins to set something up here, but they just volley it over. Free ball for the Hawks. Ooh, good hit. Almost got the line there, but that's going to be just the long. First year player, Kelsey, had a good chance. Try to go cross court there. Kelsey just long. And that time the serve is long from Sheridan. And so the Hawks are within one point of taking set number two. Yeah, that's been the struggles for Sheridan. They get a couple points and then they give it right back on a fault that time, a service error. And that's it, Kyle. The final point comes off a miss hit from the Bruins. And the Hawks will take set number two by a score of 25 to 12. Yeah, another air like you mentioned. Hawks were all over Sheridan, not set, and have commandly taken a 2-0 lead here in this game. It's free t-shirt time here at the Hawks Nest. The Student Athletic Association, also known as Hawks Nation,
And we're back for set number three. The Humber Hawks are up. Two sets to love. And it's really been a dominating display by the home team here this evening, Kyle. Yeah, only given up 25 points between the two sets. 50 to 25 in total between the two. So well controllable game so far by the Hawks. Taking advantage, like we mentioned a, a few times earlier, of the airs from the Bruins and not letting up at all. And that's exactly what Coach Wayne Wilkins probably would like to see from the Humber Hawks is don't let up, keep the foot on the gas pedal and just win this third set decisively. Keep rolling along. No matter how lopsided a victory, you always want to finish strong going into that rest of the season. Of course, a pretty quick turnaround. Another game just two days from now, Saturday afternoon. Jam-packed schedule in the unofficial second half of the season. Well, I guess it's fortunate that the Hawks had the York University tournament to kind of shape up. You know what happens over the holidays, Kyle. We tend to eat a lot of chocolate, a little too much turkey and gravy. Might be moving a little slow, but the Hawks are light on their feet. They're looking good tonight. Not letting up at all. Kyle, did you fall victim to the holiday overeating? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. How about you? Yes, I did. You You're going to watch your figure. Me, I, uh, I get carried away. Jake Gomes. He's had a great game for the Hawks, especially from the standpoint of his serves. And here he is. Fielded nicely by Sheridan. And a great kill shot. Will even things up here at one. That time the Hawks just couldn't quite get underneath that shot. Yeah, Kim tr trying to keep it alive there, couldn't do it. Kamen just dumps it over. Here come the Bruins with a good chance here. Whistle blown. And the old ball handling violation. That's what we keep mentioning, the mistakes and the errors. The mental mistakes from the Bruins have really cost them. Gives up an easy point there for the Hawks. Kyle, I have a new favorite volleyball term. It's rotation violation. That was not a rotation violation, but the Hawks will get the point. 3-1 lead. Good start from the Hawks coming out of this second set. Already up 2-0. In sets 3-1, they lead. Kamen Wilkins with the serve. Great block up front for Humber. Colin Skeins in the mix there. And that will enable the Hawks to go up 4-1. Kelsey and Skeins both going up. There's two guys that stand at six foot eight. Set up for Skeins. Bruins have to get it over. They will not. Looks like they did. A lot of weird hits there. Sheridan just able to keep it alive, eventually picking up the point. That kind of shows you just how this game's been playing out. The Bruins on their heels, and the Hawks have had all kinds of chances. There's another service error. And that's what we've been talk talking about. The Bruins just giving the point right back. Now Colin Skeens will serve for the Hawks. The number four nationally ranked Humber Hawks. Good block up front. You know what, Kyle? I do agree with you. That popcorn is a little too salty. It might be just a little, eh? Set up there. Wow. Kelsey catches everybody off guard as the Hawks extend their lead to three. As the score here is 6 3. Kelsey now serving after picking up the point. 
Bruins with the shot here, and great job to sneak it past the front line. No easy task. You had Gomes, Kelsey, and Obi. But Humber couldn't get a hand on it. Here come the Bruins with the serve. Set up here, quick shot. Obi goes left hand. Taps it in there, John Obi with the taped up hand. Lead is now three. And this is the time for the Bruins where they need to stick around in this set. Down by three now. You don't want Humber to try to pull away here. At the net. Here come the Bruins. Big block by Gomes. And he's feeling himself. Jake Gomes, John Obi both going up with the block. Gomes coming up with it. Hawks lead by four. It's 8-4. Gomes bringing the house down. Here's Silva Ferreira with the serve. Ooh, tough play at the net, kept alive by Humber. And that is hit out of bounds. I've seen a couple of those from Kelsey just long, but it's going to be a net violation call against Sheridan. Yeah, net violation. The Bruins think they got hosed. I'm inclined to agree with the official. It looked pretty close. Hawks end up with the point anyway. Short serve there. Hawks pick up the points. Silva Pereira with the sneaky play, just dropping that in with the serve. Hawks lead 10-4, and the Bruins are going to try to salvage this set with an early timeout here. And the Hawks, like we've said, have got to be enjoying this start and here in set number three establishing a six point cushion and it's just business as usual. Kyle we're here live on the Hawks Sports Network starting off a new year there's a good look at head coach Frank Pento and at this point, you got to wonder what he's got to say to his team. There's just been a lot of unforced errors that have not been helping the cause of Sheridan. Calls this early timeout here, trying to salvage this set here. His team is only down by six. They're still in it, trying to battle back. At least pick up, try to pick up one set here. And this one at the Hawks Nest. Bolton, Ontario's Matthew Sheridan wearing number eight for the Bruins. Quick point for Humber. Eduardo Silva Ferreira has had a pretty good run of serves here. And at this point, Kyle, you see a lot of the bench players for the Hawks. And there's Blakey Lopez. Taking a seat. That's the streak ends there for Lopez. But you mentioned we see for Lopez in the game. Jake Gomes still in here, though. He's been solid up front with John Obi as well. Big serve, and there was just a little too much cream in that coffee. And right over the head of Wilkins. Not what the Bruins wanted coming out of this timeout. They're down by seven here, the largest of this set for the Hawks. Here's John Obi with the serve. And he puts too much on it. Obi, who's got to be wearing a size 17 shoe. Custom order, no doubt. Wilkins coming in. He's going way up for that one and puts it right over the blocks of Sheridan. With kind of the windmill dunk approach to the net. 
just gets all that ball. I'm sure he'll take that one. Jake Gomes now, number 13, serving for the Hawks. Gomes hits that one long. Looking to overpower instead he hits it way long. Both teams sh sharing errors here on the service line. Set number two, Gomes was electric from the service line. And that attempt from the Bruins is a unsuccessful try. And they give the point right back to the Hawks. Frank Pento not liking what he's seen so far. Might have a net violation here, and it's going to be charged against the Bruins. You can see the Bruins not liking the call once again. That's the second time that's already happened in this set. As Frank Pento is getting off his chair. Yeah, that one looked like it could have gone either way. An eight-point lead for the Hawks. Came in Wilkins with an absolute dart. And a service quick ace. service ace for the Hawks. And a timeout called by the Sheridan Bruins. And the Hawks came out of that last timeout from Sheridan and it really put the pressure on and they've continued that. As they lead 16-7 here, already up 2-0 in sets. Yeah, and if the Hawks can secure nine more points, they will have cruised along to a straight sets victory. Here to open up the 2019 season on January 10th. Looking at a win. Kyle, the Hawks are hosting the OCAA championships this year in late February. That should be a pretty good event. You're going to have some of the best teams in Ontario coming to just battle it out and the anticipated rematch of number one Fanshawe and number four Humber. There'll be a lot of good games here at the Hawks Nest. Obviously Georgian will be here, Seneca will be here as well. They're in the other division, the East Division. Two top teams over there. So there should be a lot of good teams, a lot of teams that Humber hasn't, haven't seen yet as well. So it should be a good test for them. And with just two teams advancing from the OCAA championships to the CCAAs, you know, it might be a foregone conclusion that the Fanshawe Falcons, should they be healthy, advance to the Nationals. But who's going to take that number two spot? It's Collins Gaines with a good point there. But you mentioned that second spot is going to be key. See if the Hawks can get it. I'm sure they'll be battling with Seneca and Georgian for that second spot. Coming in again for the Sheridan Bruins is number four. Serving for the Bruins, number 16, Daniel Pence. And Sheridan at the service line. Good shot there. Put in play. Good effort by the Bruins to try to get under it, but Silva Ferreira just puts that one out of reach. See the dive across there from the Bruins. Silva Ferreira with a good hit. Colin Skeens now serving here. Hawks seven points away from picking up the straight set victory. Kyle, do you think you could dive on the hardwood like that? Maybe with the some bubble wrap or something, maybe. Silva Ferreira. Silva Ferreira starting off 2019 with the shaved head. See his teammates rubbing it there after the point. Any chance you're shaving your head, Kyle? Uh, I don't know about that. Serving the Bruins, number 11, Got to keep it while I have it, you know? I hear you, partner. If I were you, I wouldn't change a thing, man. Coming in again for the Bruins is number 8, Matthew Sheridan. Serving for the Hawks is number Hawks are five points within a straight sets sweep. Here's Kelsey. Puts it in play. 
And the Bruins with a unforced error. Ox four points away, Kelsey serving. Ooh, just an awkward shot. Kelsey can't really get under it. Yeah, went right into his chest. No chance there for Kelsey. And his teammates having a good laugh. Even Coach Wilkins is snickering here. I guess it's all smiles for the Hawks here in their game opening up 2019. Silva Ferreira looking to go. Looking to go on another run here to end this one. Three points away. Popped up by the Bruins. They got a good chance. Wow, there was a lot of heat on that one. Just long, though. Hawks pick up the point. Hawks two points away from putting this thing to bed. Big point there for Sheridan. Trying to get back in this set. Don't call it a comeback. Service error. Another service error from the Bruins. Hawks one point away from picking up the win, 24-11. Obi sails that one out of bounds. Looking for the game-winning ace. Instead, Sheridan will serve it. Serving to the Bruins is number four. Last game, it was Trinity Lowheed for the women's team who secured their three straight sets win with a service ace. That Kevin one. Wilkins looking to end it. A little too much sauce. Looked like that could have been it, but Wilkins just wide on that one. Sheridan stays alive. Eric Chen. Hawks looking to put it away. Again, Wilkins is going to put it out of bounds. Wilkins once again trying to go cross court there. And kind of been the story of the game, an unforced error. Will win the match for the Humber Hawks. Starting 2019 off exactly the way they wanted. A very convincing win, Kyle, against the Sheridan Bruins. And you said it, that's what they wanted to win. 25-13, 25-12, and 25-14. A dominate, domination of a win there from the Hawks. We mentioned earlier the airs were a big factor in this one for the Bruins, and the Hawks really took advantage of that. It did stop with the three, three sets, victory, and sweeping the Bruins. Kyle, it's been a pleasure calling a game with you again. Thunder and Lightning reunited, and a very convincing win for the Humber Hawks here. And we'll see you on Saturday as Humber takes on the St. Clair Saints. That's all for us for today. We'll see you then.